Okay, so this is Derek J here. I'm at a Sitco in Virginia, and I'm seeing that there's a man who's pulled over from the sheriff's office, or a, a woman rather, and uh, you know, I just want to make sure the situation's okay. Hey, do you want me to keep an eye on this? Yeah? Alrighty. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on things. So this woman has uh, given her consent that I can keep an eye on things. She nodded and uh, looks like she's talking on the phone. Everything looks to be okay. Um, the sheriff's uh, deputy, I guess he is, um, let me know that uh, he's got a camera over there. I don't know what he meant by that or if he meant it to be intimidating or just wanted to reassure me that he's keeping an eye on the situation. But as some folks know, it's very difficult to get that footage when you need it, especially when officers have committed wrongdoing. Um, I don't think his lights are um, very nice looking. I remember the days where cops used to have just a little Beep, beep, spinny wheel and uh, you know these lights are like a carnival coming by I, I think it's really distracting and unsafe for drivers on the road to be subjected to this type of environment uh, it's really distracting when these lights are going off hey miss do you mind if I ask you why he stopped you don't know he did he give you a reason Hey, if you, if you wouldn't mind, um, just for my records, would you ask for his badge number, please? Because I don't want to interfere with the uh, investigation. You know, I don't want to be interfering at all, so um, I'll just stand back and maybe I can ask you later if that's okay. Looks like we're in Caroline County and this is a sheriff's deputy. So right now I'm standing about 20 feet away from the uh, individuals who are being held here. And this poor woman is uh, being kept from being able to leave. She's uh, being temporarily detained by this... I was going to call him a gentleman, but it's not very gentlemanly to uh, hold a woman someplace against her, will, against her will. It's not very polite at all. So, I was taking note that some of the shop owners behind me here were taking a look at what was going on. It doesn't look like they're too pleased with this officer using their private space as his uh, pullover zone. I just want to reiterate how offensive these lights are to me. I mean, this is really out of control here. Anyone who had lights like these would... They, they would definitely be aggressed upon. I mean, I'm, I'm making an assumption here, but I, I don't think an officer would like it if I just rode around with these lights flashing. It's uh, an interesting example of uh, exercising arbitrary authority. I am curious what could be taking so long.
trying to get a visual on this officer, um, but it seems like he's using his lights to deflect anyone's view of him, especially a camera lens. Let's see if I can get a better view. Yeah, he looks like he is talking on his radio. Ugh, oh, it's really tough to see here. Yep, he's just waiting. Not doing anything. Why is he keeping this woman against her will if he is just going to sit there? Got another police car right here that just drove by. Miss, he's just sitting there in his car. He is not doing a darn thing. What do you think he's waiting for? I mean, I'm sure you have places to be. <laughs> I thought I heard over his radio something about a license being suspended. Hey, I, I appreciate that. Could I ask your badge number, sir? Uh, it's 45. Badge number 45, and you're a sheriff's deputy of Caroline County? Yes, sir. All right, thanks. Have a great night. You have a good night. All right, Thank you. Safe. Thank you. Okay, and looks like that uh, sheriff's deputy is pulling away. Uh, he said that the reason for the stop was that he had to slam on his brakes a little bit. So I guess uh, she cut him off or something. She was... Um, I don't know. She was, she seemed like a little nervous about the situation. I guess everyone is a little nervous when uh, they're pulled over by the police. So I can't blame her, but she hadn't done anything wrong, and he left her uh, unaggressed. So I appreciate that. I wonder always if the camera has any uh, perspective or any, it changes anyone's view of um, you know their job when they're a law enforcer. Are they going to be a little more lenient on people because they're being watched? Uh, we know from certain physics uh, experiments that the patterns of waves do change when there is an observer. And I have to believe that uh, being an observer makes a difference in 
people's lives and decisions and uh, their brain waves because those are waves too, aren't they? So anyway, uh, I'm glad that this woman was unaggressed upon and I look forward to more cop blocking here in Virginia because that sheriff's deputy was way friendlier than any sheriff's deputy I've met in Keene. So uh, it's a nice change of pace and I'm looking forward to seeing more. So we just gassed up and we're ready to finish on and uh, continue this journey back to the underground bunker Woo! for Adam versus the man. Let's get out of here.